I've downloaded the Strapi.js repository, and I'm going to show you how we can add NX to this repo with the smallest possible configuration. Strapi is using Lerna, but this same technique should work for Yarn workspaces or other mono repo setups that you might have. We'll run npx add NX to mono repo. We'll say no to NX Cloud. And now let's look at the files that have been changed. The package JSON, we have some new Narwhal packages and a TypeScript added. We also have a tsconfig.base.json, which currently has nothing in it. This could be used later to provide global TypeScript options that other packages could extend, but this particular repo has no TypeScript in it, so we can just ignore this file. There's a workspace.json file, which tells NX where to find all the packages in your repo. You can see each project has a root property, which is the path to that project. Now, because NX knows this information, we can run NX depgraph, and NX will follow all the import statements in your project to generate a dependency graph of all of your projects. So you can see how they're all related to each other. If this is too overwhelming, you can focus in on one particular project and limit the search to only one step away from it. Now, this other property, implicit dependencies, allows you to manually create a dependency in the graph that cannot be calculated using the import statements. Maybe it's a back-end and a front-end project that really do depend on each other through, the, through network calls, but there's no code that directly imports statements from one to the other. So let's say we want uh, Strapi Generate to depend on Strapi Generate API. We can just right here put Strapi Generate API. And if we reload this dependency graph, and let's focus in on Strapi Generate, you can see that now there is a, a new line here with an implicit label on it telling you that it's manually created. There's a dependency between Strapi Generate and Strapi Generate API. The last file is the index.json file. This extends a preset in the Narwhal workspace package. Uh, npm scope currently does nothing, but it could be used to provide a TypeScript alias path for referencing local projects by their npm name. This next section allows you to define which operations you want NX to automatically cache for you. In this case, we're caching build, test, lint, package, and prepare. So I can run NX build strappy helper plugin. And this took 14 seconds. And all it did is it went to the strappy helper plugin package JSON file and it looked in the scripts here and it ran this build command. So this is the existing build command that was already in the Strapi codebase. Now, if I run this again, because we have the build command set to automatically cache for us, it pulls the output directly from the cache and it took less than a second. Now there's a post install command in the Strapi project. This one is not on the list of cacheable operations. So if I run this again, it's not cached. So it will run every time, no matter if it's been run before. All right, this next section, the target dependencies section of the nx.json file, tells nx that when you build a project, you need to first build all of its dependencies. Same thing for prepare or package. If we look back at the dependency graph here, the strappy helper plugin is a dependency of the get started project. So I'm gonna build get started and the strappy helper plugin should automatically be built. So if I run nx build get started, first it's running build on strappy helper plugin, and then it's running build on get started. The last option in this nxjson file tells nx what branch should be the base of its comparison when it tries to calculate what has been affected in your project. If your main branch is main instead of master, you can change that here. So to illustrate this, let me commit this code, and now I'll make a change to the strappy helper plugin it can be any change at all here. Now I can run nx affected libraries, and this will give us a list of every project that could potentially be affected by the change that I just made. You can compare this list to the dependency graph here and see that these are all projects that depend on the Strapi helper plugin. So if I run nx affected test, this will run the test command on all the projects that depend on a project that has been changed by this code change. That way we don't have to run tests for projects that are completely unrelated to the change that we just made. So there you have it. We've added NX by simply adding a few packages here. We've got three config files, but very little in each of them. And you can keep your NPM scripts. 
your build process remains unchanged. All you get are the benefits of NX's caching, the dependency graph knowledge that it gives you, and the affected command. Later on, if you want to take advantage of NX's robust plugin system, you can expand and you can do that. If you'd like to learn more about using NX in a Lerna or Yarn Workspaces repo, check out this guide on nx.dev. The link will be in the description.